Hi guys, we're in a new video and today I'm going to show you how to make an Unreal Engine 4 first person character with a customized uh, inventory weapon resistance. So let's go to the blueprints, first person character, and the first thing we're going to do is just take a spawn projectile from this point and move it up here. I'm going to disconnect this from here, right there, okay. Now let's go right here, let's take the wave thing, I'm going to paste it like two times. This time it's going to be one, this is going to be two, and this is going to be three. So now we've got three weapons, let's take two and three right there, and join it in here so it can be attached to your hands. You see, now two, let's change the texture uh, to frame, and three, let's change the materials for um let's see uh for example ground mousse it could be okay now that we've got done let's go right here to variables make a new one and call this one underscore true one underscore selected um uh come on whenever you want to work okay one underscore ammo two underscore two two underscore selected two ammo and same thing for three now we're going to demo variables and we're going to set that to each users one let's go in um, this one is going to be an each user two so now we've got everything set up to each users variables from ammo now let's go to zero typing here did you press oh right now zero it's going to set uh, selected variables to false so, if you press sale, you will deselect your weapons. Come on. Change this. And at the end, let's set visibility. I'm going to set the visibility of your hands and your weapon meshes to false. So now, uh, now let's add three widgets. Let's take the widgets right there. Come on, are you going to paste anything or no? Okay. Now let's go here and take the widgets. Um, just doing this right here. Um, it's done. So now we're just join right here in that link so if we press one we're going to go here and set well m first we're going to make a branch that the branch is going to be the condition of one two let's join this one right here and two let's set invisibility it's the variable right here and join everything we've got right here I'm going to put it right here and the widgets too of course and now we've got all this right here let's copy and paste right in here and letting this sorry I know, just one uh, mesh weapon. Where is the hands? Come on, are you going to connect or are you kidding me? Okay, uh, widget. Those three ones are going to get connected right here, and we're going to click this option right here. Now, let's set select these variables right here. Three selected to everything. 
and we're saying one to two. So now I'm taking all these from here, copy and paste down there, and paste another time. In here, let's type in two. In here, let's type in three. And now the variables. This one is going to be two two. And down there three two. So let's take this variable three two. Okay. Now I'm breaking those links right here. It's going to be just for three with chat two. The hand meshes and three. Arms meshes again right there. Well first break all links, hand meshes, number shoe and we shed one. That's okay. Now let's set the variables. That one is number two and that one is going to be three. Let's compile and this you see it's okay. So let's take this from the spawn projectile. And now let's go just right there, make a branch, branch, another branch, and that's what I'm going to copy and paste, so how three times just one and two, we got three times this right here. Uh, now let's take where it is, selected, one selected, must be this connection, and one emo must be this condition. Let's go down. This must be two selected. Okay, get it. And two ammo. So if it's true, it will select the weapon you are it will shoot the bullet you are selecting the weapon. From the weapon you are selecting so now. Uh this is okay right there. Let's go to the first variable right here, well variable shooting uh, action, now let's set a mo, set a mo1, a minus and trigger, and let's get mo1, so this is going to be mo2, a minus and trigger, and mo2. Okay, and now here just for three and more three minus in chuga and mo three. So it just will get one bullet from your inventory and if you haven't gotten the bullet it will then shoot. So now let's go right here and make some three widgets so let's make a new folder that's widgets let's get in here and make a new user interface that mo counter one I'm going to open this just stick some text right here with this bigger and be careful now type in there 100 and type in here O. Oh. Now the color it's going to still just uh, white. So from the text, let's make a link right here in the joining, and let's make cast to first person character. Good pleasure character. This is going to be with. Mo get mo one and join this right here. Let's compile. It's okay. So now let's duplicate this. It will be two and let's open it. Let's go to the joining go for it and just change this for mo two. Get mo two and join this right here. Compile. Duplicate this right here. Open this right there, go here, get text, and this just MO3, get MO3, just join this right here, and compile, let's go to every counter, it's okay. 
And now let's go to the graphic window. We've got those widgets right here. We're going to set widget to one concha two concha and three concha. So now it's done. Just go to one. Set the widget class to Emma Concha one. Uh, it's return the number. <laughs> number two number three and just take them and move it to the screen so now just move this right in here to your face just a bit right there I'm going to select you know, the hands and the weapon mesh and just go to type visibility false and the same for the counters false compile and let's go to play. Now we press uh, one, two, or three. It will doesn't work because we haven't got some uh, that weapon. So the thing we're going to do is just make a new folder that weapons pick ups. So weapons pick ups just will be a blueprint where you are going to make the pick up of the weapon but just in this video I'll just only show the weapon resistance so just go to the variable true and just type in true and two true and three true so just compile play and you can select your weapons uh, but we haven't got ammo so yes let's go to the ammo variables and just set the percent to 100, 200, and 300. Let's compile. Um, so you can see first 100, 200, 300, 100, 200, 200, 100, 300, 100, 200, 300, blah, blah, blah. You see, we could demo. And um, with the first weapon, if I shoot, it will be going down. And the same for every weapon and if if this reach just some um, zero bullets it will stop shooting. So in the next video I show you how to make weapons pickups um uh different bullet types. So thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoy it and see you in the next time. Bye.